when boys don't shower and have a lint down there. Hello my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess if you're new around here and if you're not new around here, welcome the fuck back sweetheart. It's a joy to have your beautiful face here with us today. It's a fucking joy. The pleasure is mine. I tell you that. Today we're going to be talking about your icks. Not my biggest ick but an ick that I can definitely pinpoint right now is you know when like you just see the top of someone's ass crack. If I saw their whole ass that wouldn't be an ick for me but it's just that builder's bum. Why are both your trousers and your underwear so low that I can see your ass crack? How's that happening i know that you can feel that your trousers and underwear are falling down so why aren't you pulling them up i think that's what it is yeah i think that's what it is i know you can feel a breeze on your ass crack so just have the decency to pull them up because nobody wants to see it let's get into what your icks are shall we taking on a lad in brackets dickhead persona to impress mates when being a dick ain't the real them the word that came to my mind was repulsive do you think it's cool when you see a guy being a dickhead being a laddie uh, do you know what i mean just being wearing a gilet <laughs> <laughs> and every time I see that word yet, I always read it as gillet. And then I'm like, oh yeah, no, it's chalet. I don't know what it is about them yet, but I hate them so much. I hate gillets. <laughs> oh, and the worst is when they wear a gillet with like a short sleeve t-shirt. When his socks ride down his foot and it looks like he has no socks on. <laughs> You know those socks, those like, oh, you know those trainer socks, but they're not trainer, what are they called? When they're, I have them starting to feel lightheaded. This is too funny. You know those socks that are just like this? So it looks like you're not wearing socks, but you are. I just, I just can't. I just don't know what it is about those damn socks. But I hate them so much. And whenever I see anyone wearing them, I just internally cry and laugh at the same time. Boys in tracksuits. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, shit on a stick. That's a different one. I'm always starting to feel weird about using the word boys if I'm actually talking about men. So I'm gonna just say men in tracksuits. I don't mind a man in a tracksuit. When, <laughs> when his hood is inside out. <laughs> Oh, I can't lie. Oh, shit. Now I think of it. When you put on a jacket with a hood, you shake out the hood. How are you not shaking out your fucking hood when you're putting on your jacket with the hood or your hoodie? How are you leaving the house as well without checking your hood and that? That's clapped. <laughs> Even to my friends that do it. I just want you to know you're clapped, but I will always turn it out outside, inside, inside out for you. Out the right side out, inside for you. Um, but I will talk shit about you in my head, so men calling grown women girls uh yeah oh my god i think i've had this happen to me before or even like little girl what's going on <laughs> <laughs> when boys don't shower and have a lint down there and the worst way to find out is when you're about to do a little sucky sucky. That's butters. To be fair though, the amount of times I go to the toilet and wipe and then somehow bits of tissue get stuck to my flaps. Pasta sauce around the mouth. It's disgusting because I'm visualizing it. Ugh. You know when like people are talking and they've just got white bits here and it's just one of those things where it's like, do I tell you or not? Because if I tell you, it's probably going to be more awkward than it is right now. That's the thing. Is it going to be more awkward if I tell you something or if I just don't tell you and it's just going to be awkward for me? Would I rather it be awkward for both of us or just me? Probably just me. Ugh, clapped. Loving their mum too much. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck knob cheese. Can't lie, I've never come across knob cheese. I'm fucking grateful. I don't know what I would do if I did. What do you do if you come across knob cheese and you're about to go sucky sucky? Do you just like say, well, hold on a minute, mate, go clean your dick? Not saying please and thank you in a restaurant. Not saying please and thank you in general. Manners are everything. When someone has no manners, it actually, that is a massive ick for me. When someone gets on a bus before an old person, the amount of people that have said men. Can men in general be an ick? Because fuck, I feel sorry for men right now. <laughs> when people mix brought and bought, ugh, it's butters. Boys side profile on a bus, don't know why, but it makes me die. That's fucking hilarious. Some of these icks are so random, like I would never think of these things. When guys spoon you and push their erection up against you, it's fucking grim, like no thanks, mate. 
when they trip up the cinema steps trying to find their seat and they drop some popcorn. <laughs> Cut them some slack, okay? It's dark, they can't fucking see. The most light they've got is those shitty strip lights on the steps. I feel like maybe we've all been there. <laughs> Boys eating a sandwich in public they made at home wrapped in cling film. <laughs> Look, they're trying to save their money. They're trying to eat healthier. Boys that run for the tube and the doors shut in their face. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. People holding umbrellas. <laughs> I answered this one on Instagram. I just like, why? Why don't men? I mean, I have seen men hold umbrellas, but the majority of men would rather have a hood and just brave the rain than hold an umbrella. Just hold the umbrella. When the tube suddenly stops and his whole body wobbles and nearly falls. <laughs> You know them ones, that is so embarrassing. It's happened to me so many times though. So, you know, I will, I will allow them for that one, but it's fucking funny. Boys wearing slippers, especially like Star Wars ones. I don't even think I've seen guys wearing slippers before. I don't think I have. <laughs> there are probably so many more icks that I have. And you know what? Maybe I'll write them down and compile them for another video. You lots are fucking funny. Thank you so much for sending in those. Much appreciated. Comment down below what your icks are. What makes you feel icky sticky? Probably that. <laughs> fuck you know. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, do what the fuck you want to do. But most importantly, have a wonderful day and a wonderful life. And I'll see you back here very soon, my love. Much love. Peace.